Hey guys, how's it going? So, welcome to my video. I am sitting at in my car at a, at Kohl's right now. And, uh, man, it kind of sucks, really, because I was hoping to go home after a long day of shopping, Christmas and all. And this situation happens where now I have an issue. Alright, I, I, I was in Kohl's for maybe like an hour and a half. Came back out, was hoping to go home, had a couple bags with me. I'm like, let's go home. And I'm like, man, I tried turning on my car and the worst thing, like nothing happened. And I tried at least 15 times, you know, right, at least 15 times to turn on my car. Nothing happens, which really, really, really sucks. All right. Because I was thinking, all right. So I had this situation happen maybe two months ago. And maybe another time a month ago, I was thinking, okay, it's probably, I don't know, battery or something like that. Maybe I left something on uh, or whatever, you know, maybe it's the battery. And I just never got around to change the battery. So I was like, okay, hoping it's the battery because I could just go to AutoZone, Uber to AutoZone, get a battery, pop it in, not a problem. So um, I was thinking, maybe that's the case, right? Maybe that's the case. So I, I, I turn on my, my high beams, not my high beams, I turn on my headlights. No, I mean, that's the test, right? Turn on my headlights, went out, and checked the headlights just to see how bright they are. And guess what? They were pretty damn bright. I mean, it's nighttime right now, they were pretty bright. Darn it. They are pretty bright. So I'm thinking to myself, could it be the battery? I mean, they're pretty bright. I mean, everything else works in my, in my car. You know, all the lights work. Radio works nice and loud. You know, if I turn it loud, it's nice and loud. A blow motor works. On the high setting, it works. Remote works. Everything works except for one thing. This car is not cranking at all. It's not turning. It's not cranking. It's nothing. It's just one. It's just dip. I hear a click every time I try to turn it on. I just hear a click. It's like every time I try to turn it, click, click, click. Nothing. So, so, so I opened my hood up and checked the, the, the battery, checked the terminals. <coughs> I noticed that the terminals were a little bit corroded. So what I did was, you know, I was thinking, yeah, that, yeah, that's probably the case. You know, probably wasn't, the alternator probably wasn't charging the battery up that good because it was corroded. Parked it, the cars, you know, batteries like maybe like 25, 25%, 10% on it. So I'm like thinking, okay, all right, I'm feeling a bit better now, okay, because it's something simple. So I took, I took out my my wrench set, mini wrench set that I got from uh, AutoZone, and I pretty much um, took the terminals off. I had a can of Coke. Well, I didn't have a can of Coke. I actually went to Seven Eleven to get some Coke. <laughs> Poured some Coke over it. Took some tissues, wiped it. It, you know, the oxidation, the fizzling, you know. Um, I actually cleaned it, and it cleaned it pretty good. Not 100 percent cleaned it pretty good. Put the terminals back on the battery. I actually did clean the terminals on the battery. Put it on. Came back to my car. Try to start it up. Guess what? Nothing. Same situation. Nothing. So at that point, I was thinking, oh man. Oh man, maybe I actually need a jump at that point. So I'm still, I was still a good, I was still, I was still, you know, kind of happy because, you know, I'm hoping that it wasn't like some big issue where I'd have to get the car towed. So I actually had a jumper pack that I bought from Walmart um, a couple of weeks ago. I had to charge up to 100% just for these situations. Just because the last couple of times, you know, I kind of had to ask somebody to jump in and stuff like that. I didn't like doing that. So anyway, I put the jumper pack on and I turned it on and I cranked it. Nothing. So at that point, I was thinking maybe the jumper pack's not that strong. But uh, I think it's, I, I, uh, it was charged up to 100%. And it, it worked for, you know, for, 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 it should have worked. That's what I'm saying. Anyway, even if it wasn't that strong, I would have at least had like a, a slow crank or something like that. It wasn't even a slow crank. Didn't hear even. So it kind of sucks. This kind of sucks. 
So I'm like, okay, okay. All right, so the jumper pack didn't do anything. So at that point, I was thinking, all right, I got to get somebody to jump my car just so I know 100% that it wasn't the issue. I went, asked around for somebody to jump my car, um, three or four people, had somebody, you know, who was okay with doing it, took out the jumper cables, you know, put it on, tried to turn it on, nothing, nothing at all. All right, so at that point, I was thinking to myself, okay, all right, I'm going to wait a couple minutes and hopefully this will take care of the issue. Have it charged up so that I could turn it on. Charged up for a couple minutes, try to turn it on, nothing. Blank, nothing, zero, zippo, zero, zippo, zippo. So at that point, at that point, I was just scratching my head and, uh, you know, that, oh man, at that point I was like, okay, now we're in for a bigger problem at this point. All right. None of that stuff work. We're in for a bigger issue. I'm in for a bigger issue at this point. So I was thinking, okay, I could probably rule out the battery at this point. You know, maybe it's the alternator. So I was thinking every single time I've had an inter in an alternator issue where the alternator, you know, caused my car not to start. It was because the battery was depleted because the alternator wasn't charging it. And, and all those times, the car was on the road. I was driving the car all those times. I was actually, you know, the car was, I, it was either idling or the car was driving. But most of the time, all the time, my car was, my engine was on. I mean, my engine was not on, <clears throat> you know, prior to this situation. So, you know, regardless... Um, it, it, regardless, I know the test for the alternator. If you put cables on the battery and you try to turn on the car, and basically, if 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 if, if the um, if the car turns, wait, wait, if you put cables on the battery from an, from from another source of power and the car turns on, and then once you take the cables off, the car would die out. That you know that was the alternator that was the issue. The, unfortunately, this was not. That, that's not even the issue here because it didn't even do anything. It didn't crank over. It didn't turn on. Nothing. Nothing. It did nothing. So at this point, I know that it's probably not the alternator, probably not the battery. And I cleaned up the terminals. But as far as the terminal is concerned, I actually looked at the ground from the negative. You guys don't know the ground from the negative line actually attaches to the frame of the car. Um, I was looking at it trying to see if there's any kind of corrosion i ended up i did end up you know splashing some coke on it have it fizzled up and stuff like that maybe you know if that was the problem uh it would solve it i i tried to turn on my car nothing happened so none of, none of that stuff happened it sucks none of that stuff happened it didn't turn on my car and i'm like okay okay it's kind of cold out so i got back in my car i was youtubing a lot of stuff googling a lot of stuff and, and, okay, so at that point, I was thinking, okay, it's, I'm, I'm still pretty good as far as, it could still be either the fuses or the relay, which are easy fixes if they were. I could always Uber to the AutoZone if that was the case. So I, I looked at the fuse box, found out where the starter, <coughs> starter fuse was, and I was like, okay, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to swap out the starter uh, relay for another starter for another relay that that's similar and I did I swapped that out hoping that I'll turn it on nothing happened and I wasn't a, I'm percent sure that it wasn't the relay at that point but thinking about it I'm pretty sure it's not the relay knowing at you know every time I try to turn it on I hear a click and normally that clicks either the relay clicking or or, or the starter solenoid clicking all right it's probably one of those two things that's clicking and normally what the relay does, it relays electricity from the battery to the to the relay to to the to 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 the starter starter solenoid. And hearing that click, I was pretty positive that it wasn't a relay. I couldn't be a hundred percent sure that it wasn't that issue. That it wasn't the relay, but I was pretty sure, like ninety percent sure that it wasn't the relay to the point where I, I was like, okay, fine, fine, it's probably not the relay. I probably won't have to worry about that. Worry about that. So I'm like, okay, maybe it's the fuses. I, I, I shine a flashlight on the fuses, try to see if there's any burnt fuses. There's no burnt fuses. None. None. No burnt fuses. So I was like, maybe the... Okay, no burnt fuses. Nothing. No burnt fuses. No burnt fuses. Okay. So I was like, let me think about the times where I had fuse issues. Um, there was like two times where I had fuse issues. 
one time in my previous car, I had no electricity going to any part of the car. It was 100% dead. I found out that the fuse that I was causing it was the main fuse that connected the, the battery to the fuse box. Found that out. Replaced the fuse. Everything worked back to normal again. Unfortunately, that's not this case here because I am getting power to everything, including the alarm. You know, promise I can't crank it up. That's not the problem. <coughs> the other fuse, the other starting issue I had where there was a fuse issue was, um, I actually, uh, the you know, that the car would crank, or everything worked, the car would crank, but it wouldn't turn over. And it turned out that that fuse was actually a fuse, a fuel pump fuse. It was one of those things, a fuel pump fuse or something along those lines. Fuel pump or whatever. And um, and I was thinking to myself, this is not that case. This is not that situation because everything on this car works except it's not cranking. It's not cranking. So I couldn't say that was the situation because the car is not cranking at all. It's not cranking at all. So at that, at that point, I was thinking, okay, it's, it's not one of those two things. Definitely not the fuel pump. It probably it probably could be like the east the, the car's computer fuse. I'm not quite sure, but I just really didn't have a fuse tester to test out all the fuses and stuff like that. Wasn't able to test that out. <clears throat> but I'm pretty sure it's not the fuse that's causing it, which leads me to the unfortunate thought that it's probably the starter. And I didn't want to think it was the starter. I had um I thought. Originally, that's the thing that popped it in my in my head, but I mean that's probably not the issue here. No, that's pro. I was thinking maybe that's that. I was hoping that wasn't the issue because I did change out the starter. Like, I changed out the starter. You know, I changed out the starter. I'd say, I'd say a good ten months ago, I changed out the starter. So I was I was hoping that it wasn't the starter because that means I only got like maybe like fifteen thousand miles on on the starter. You know, I drive a lot, but uh, you know, I like I. It's it. It would disappoint me if it was a starter because I actually um I spent spent some time doing you know changing it out. I, obviously, I bought a refurbished one instead of a brand new one because the refurbished was like half the price. The brand new one was three hundred. This one was one fifty. Core charge was forty bucks. So it was like 190, 220, and then return to the core. It was like 175 or something like that. Okay. But but I I did somebody did tell me about refurbish uh starters that is that um if you if you actually buy a refurbished starter, you're actually buying majority of the starter is actually used, meaning that they don't actually replace it most most of the parts on it, they only replace the parts that are broken, that that broke, that made the star not work, that that made the star not working. You know, so you know, I I was like, oh man. I mean, I I've had issues with alternators where I put refurbished alternators and they went out on me within like six months or whatever. But I was hoping this wasn't the case. Um, and um, right now I'm actually waiting for Triple uh, A to tow my car right now. And I uh, thought I'd do this video for you guys. If you guys are in the same situation, um, I caught up Triple A about 45 minutes ago, and hopefully they get here within like the next hour. But uh, I'm gonna keep you guys updated. Um, stay tuned, guys. I'm gonna keep you guys updated on what the issue is on uh, on here. All right, guys. All right, guys. What's up? So here's what happened. Triple uh, A took two hours. To send a tow truck, I waited two hours for them to send a tow truck to me. Uh, man, wasted so much time. Um, had them tow my tow my car to my house. Um, I did all the testing as far as the fuses. It wasn't the fuses because all the fuses were good. Um, I actually bought another relay from AutoZone, popped it in. That was good. That wasn't the problem. So I'm th I was thinking to myself, those weren't the problems. What could the problem be? Um, and uh, checked out all the terminals again. Actually used, used a metal brush to actually brush out the terminals. 
the battery terminals brushed it all out popped it in nothing so what I'd end up doing was I took took everything out and uh, once I got to the starter I actually put a line from the battery to to the positive of the battery to the positive to the uh, terminal on the solenoid of the starter you know try to try try to see if it actually moves and nothing nothing it doesn't turn nothing nothing at all so at that point I knew I knew I knew I knew that it was the start of the issue took it out took it to all zone it was a you know had a couple of words with them about it and you know they told me that it was a lifetime warranty but that wasn't the problem man um, you know, I spent a couple hours working on this. I spent a couple hours waiting for AutoZone. I, you know, I wasted my, my whole entire, uh, day. It would wasted the rest of the day yesterday and the whole entire day today. And, but, but long story short, I was able to get the starter for, you know, they exchanged it. I popped it in and everything is now working. It's, it's turning on. Everything works. Um, so, so. I mean, I'm glad the situation's resolved. I'm back doing, you know, whatever, you know, doing what I need to be doing. But, 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 but still, it doesn't take away from the fact that my starter that I got only lasted me a good 10 months. Horrible. Horrible. But uh, if you guys are in the same situation, um, you know, you know, I hope this video has helped you guys out. Um, please, you know, give me a thumbs up please um comment please you know you know whatever you guys want you know to do as far as commenting and leaving a thumbs up whatever but uh i you know i hope this is hope you guys are right guys take care